Thank you, Manu. Thank you for being with us, first of all. And as a player, between techniques and expression, virtuosism and emotion, how do you manage this possible dichotomy, this possible contradiction between these two poles? I've been studying classical music when I was a kid. Uh, first I started with, with piano and then I moved on to uh, classical percussion. So I guess I had to learn all the rudiments and all the technique. And finally when I decided to play the drums on by myself, I just played along with records, you know, on headphones. And I didn't really pay attention about the technique, I was just influenced by what I was listening to. So I was mainly in grooves and, and of course emotions and then, you know, going uh, along with, with my career, with uh, just starting in France. I was playing with French singers and I just realized that when you back up a singer, he's telling a story. And you can't behind go like crazy and, and do a demonstration of whatsoever. So I just went like, okay, I, I, I think I, I should be in his path and try to get a kind of a syntax of what he's saying, musically and rhythmically. And, uh, I guess, I don't know, but after all these years, I guess it's because I started with singers that I have to, to, to back up. I couldn't go crazy with technique. I had some technique, but couldn't use all of it. Of course, when I turned into like instrumental music, I could do more, but I was just instrumental. But then the fact when I met all those English singers and American singers, I just, you know, did the same thing, backing up with the way I was. Uh, used to, which means like try to fit in what is telling the story. It's about listening and playing. Exactly. Was there a time in your formative years in which you told yourself, uh, that's me, that's my style, that's my voice? It was tough because, I mean, I, I, as I said, I studied classical music, so you, 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 you work with the metronome and you're quite sure about your purse, all right? Then when I met people in studios and then doing live uh, playing, they were just telling me some things about, not the time, but just like the way of playing. Maybe you could play like such and such. And I thought, you know, that's the way I learn. I, I'm, I know that I'm fine and I'm on a the, on the, on the good time with what we're playing now. So I don't think I should change. So I, of course I met some people who disagree with that. But I, had, I think I have a strong uh, personality. Still was not confident. It's it's tough because when you're young, you don't know what you do. And but I knew what I from what I was learning, what I learned from the school of classical school of music. I knew I was right. So when I was playing with someone, I thought, okay, you you're a singer, songwriter, I respect it. But then I'm going to play drums. I know how to play the drums, and I think we should go this way. So if you want to try your suggestion, let's do it. But. I would say, let's try mine, because I think I'm right. And then finally, if you quite open and propose things, people agree to it. So it, I was not aggressive to say, that's the way I want it. But I was just trying to fit in and tell the artist, I think we should go that way. I read that you are severe with yourself, mm. and also that you have been a, a severe musical judge in a TV program. <laughs> Music is a serious thing, by the way. When you get satisfaction from your work? I don't know, I mean, I don't know. I think we're all different. I think it's a personality. I've been brought up with, actually, I studied as, as a classical dancer. My mother wanted to, me to do classical dancing. So at that time, we were just two boys, the rest were girls, and I was very shy. And, but you have to learn a routine. Mm. even if you're a kid, little boy. Mm. So I did it, then I, I, I had enough. And I said to my mother, I, I'd like to change, so then I went to piano. And then the same thing, you have to have a routine, you have to work your piano every day, to read about the music every day, otherwise, you know, when you have your lesson, the teacher knows that you didn't do much. So, and I think it goes with who I am, the way I am in life, in general, and when I was a kid, I had a, a, a severe, uh, a severe uh, problem with my heart and knees. So I, actually, I wanted to do running, and the doctor says there's no way for you to do it. So that's why I did some music. So I guess instantly the way I am is quite uh, disciplined. Okay, and uh, and of course I'm, I'm I'm never pleased with that. You know, when I'm listening to 
something had been recorded with some, and I listened back to it and I thought, I should play this, I should not do it. It's, it's tough because you, you always can do better, but you know, you have a time to record it, so you do it and then it's finished. And I'm, I have to say, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I like what I've done, but I know that I could do better. Thank you, Manu. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.